Hey, welcome to Lakata Live. I'm Jen and this is John and we are at Starbucks at Harrison Crossing and we are enjoying a coffee and the warm, warm weather out here. So I had a brownie too. Oh, he did have a brownie. He she likes his chocolate. Yeah. He didn't want one. It goes <laughs> no. good with my coffee. It does. It does. So how are you doing? I'm doing great. I'm I doing like, great. I like your hat there. You know, I, you know, I normally don't wear a hat. Yeah, I know. I've never seen you with a hat on. But I got my summer cut, and my wife said I better cover that head. <laughs> now for this, for this, I'll, for this, I'll do it. If I was showing property here, yeah, I'll no, do an open house. No. Well, but... show them the hat though. Show them our our logo. Look, isn't that great? This is the Lakota Group. Very nicely done. Um, we all of us in the team have the hat, so we very much like it. So. What else is going on? Well, you don't need a hat for your head, but I, you know, I definitely need it. You know, hat when I go out on the boat, when, yeah, when you take me yeah. out on the boat, it's nice to put it back. So yep, yep. it works, it works, but yeah. Well, I've been told I have a face for radio, then maybe I should be wearing a bag. <laughs> a, bag but, uh, <laughs> a bag. That's awesome. That's yeah, awesome. Good. Great to be with you here yeah, today. Yeah. It's a little crazy. It's a little louder than uh, normal. Each back, and we've had a couple of technical difficulties but we're doing okay yeah we're doing good um the weather here is is quite sticky it's gotten hot fast it did it went from really rainy and mundane weather to sticky <laughs> and i'm going to florida for a conference starting my, my wife and i on on sunday good luck it's with be that really weather. hot down there good luck with who, that. who wants to go to orlando and not in the summer in, in, in june right? no we're yeah june. yeah i don't go in june we'll go to orlando in like October, November. I'd rather go to Wisconsin for a conference. It's a little cooler up there. Yeah, or, but, or New York. How about New York? Yes, I'll go to New York. How about New York? That works. So, uh, what's going on with the market? Well, it's been a couple of weeks since we've talked about the market, and the market has definitely changed. So, it, it's um, uh, in, in, a, in a couple of ways. So, you so you have the top end of the market and the, and the, and the lower side of the market. In terms, if you're a first-time home buyer, or if you're at the buying lower lower cost homes you know you're very much impacted by six plus percent interest rates yeah I mean uh, a three hundred plus thousand dollar home you know uh, four months ago it's it's now a four hundred dollar difference in your monthly payment so which is a pretty big um, deal who would have guessed that I mean when we were um, you know thinking about what this year looked like yeah. We were thinking Four? three and a half, three and three quarter percent yeah. interest rates, and it's six, six, six you know, yeah. great. It's 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 a challenge. It it's only a is. challenge for that. But you know, on the other end, you know, people who were cash buyers and are cash buyers, you know, if, you know, a lot of times you have a lot of money and you could put cash. But in the last, I mean, the stock market's down almost 20% since the first of the year. Yep. So someone may have had a $500,000, a $5 million portfolio of money to, to play with, to invest or buy with. Yeah. Now it's worth, uh, you know, $4 million. Yeah, you know, $4 million. You know, and, it, I'm, and I'm just using numbers there, right. sort of crazy numbers, but it, it, really, it really makes a difference. So just in... In what we have seen, um, and it absolutely is still a, a seller's market, mm -hmm. totally because inventory is low. Inventory is only about running about one month mm -hmm. of inventory. <coughs> Excuse Which is me, still, across the country, it's still low. Um, Very low. We Very were at low. just what a couple of weeks, a couple of months ago, right? Yep. Yeah. You know, a good market is six percent. Six months of inventory, we're still very low. So it's still advantage seller, but um, we are seeing homes now where there's inspections being uh -huh. asked for uh -huh. and granted. You're even seeing some homes with other contingencies. Yeah, like on it. home sale contingencies or home settlement contingencies, which those were like a hard no for a really long time. Ab absolutely, and um, you know, um, you're not having what what drives prices up high. You know those. Ten, twenty, thirty thousand dollars over list is competition. Mm -hmm. Where there's six, seven, eight, nine. One one time this year we had thirty nine offers. Yeah. Um, that, 
that's not happening. Mm -hmm. You know, there, there may be two, two. offers, yeah. three offers. We just had a waterfront, uh, one of our waterfront listings go on the market, mm -hmm. and was a great you know, there house. were there were two offers. Yeah, you know, two offers. Where five months ago, four months that ago, could have easily been there'd 10. be seven, eight, nine, ten offers. Yep. So it's it's the competition that drives price, but we're not seeing homes de-escalate. It's just they're not escalating in the, in the same at the, at the same level. Yeah. The competition isn't driving it as much, and that's what I what I what I see happening. Yeah, we're, we're not seeing under asking price. Things are still asking yeah. price or a little bit, you know, five, six, seven, ten thousand dollars maybe, but not not crazy high anymore. Now, other parts, uh, there are some other parts of the country that you're seeing, you know, homes sell for a little bit less, mm -hmm. you know, less. You are seeing price adjustments here, but those are folks that were, you know, were on high, on, you know, uh, Advantage plus plus plus. They yeah. they were chasing the market, yes. pricing their home at what they wished it would be. Mm -hmm. But it's still if you put your home on the market, um, you're still going to be very very advantaged. I very, think so. Very, yeah, very there's still going to be interest for your home. You're still going to you know get the most money in your pocket for your home. It, it's still a good good for sellers and the other thing you know I would say and, and just if you watch the news I mean gas prices have gone up mm -hmm. so you know again I think those million dollar homeowners that probably is not gonna change things for them no nope. but um, you know the entry level those those younger folks who you know my first home that I purchased back in the 80s was at 12% yep. so it's still a good value you know in historically for me um, but a lot of folks who are new to the home buying market, you know, they've only seen two and three quarter, three and three quarter, right. three, three and a quarter. So that perspective of it makes it seem yeah, like they're yeah, really high. You know what? You know what? You know. Um, so, so that's you know that's a, you know a bit of a going to be a bit of a challenge, challenge for someone. Mm -hmm. And, and mm -hmm. uh, so I, I um, you know, I, I am a little concerned about that in terms of how it affects the, affects the market um, yeah. and how, you know, it affects people. If, if, you're, if you're worried about, you know, we're talking about gas prices, you know, you're not thinking about necessarily real estate. You're not right. thinking about real estate. Right. You're thinking um, about the $85 that now costs you fill your tank up. Yeah, I mean, which converts to, you know, maybe $900 over the course of the year. That adds $75 to your to, to, to your expenditures. Yep, every month. When, yep. when you're, it's already gone up four hundred dollars with the yeah. with the interest. Right, right. So, so that's a decent amount of money for yeah. the average family. Yeah. Um. So so I would be, uh, you know, I, I'm I'm always optimistic about how our team's going to perform. Our team yep. will what we'll do. We'll always do good, and we'll do good for yeah. our for our clients. But always, you know, it, it will change change a little bit. Yeah. It will, but uh, you know we have really good lenders that typically beat other lenders' rates. So you know we can always put you in touch with our lenders to see how they can get you the best rate and what programs they have available to help you, so that you can still move forward with your home buying process. Yeah, I, I talked to a, uh, a huge lender out of Loudoun County uh, last week, uh, who I trust and value his opinion. Yeah. And uh, he has a, he's the president of a mortgage company, yeah. and he said they are writing four to five offer letters, lender letters, mm -hmm. for every one home that goes under contract. That they're doing five times the work yeah. for the same amount of of effort, yeah. and performance than they did yeah. even a year yeah. a year or so ago. So it's it's affecting it's affecting everyone, and if and if you're a a home buyer and you're making great offers and, and not getting it across the finish line, you know it's frustrating. It does get really frustrating. It, it I mean I see it with my own clients, but you know we just got to keep moving forward and look for that next property and just be a little bit more aggressive the next time we write an offer. Yeah, as as a buyer, you know it's all it's, you have to have a good mindset. You have to understand mm -hmm. that that's part of the process right now don't get too discouraged again 
good offers aren't be aren't still being accepted. Mm -hmm. And uh, if if you're a seller, uh, on the other side of it, I would say you know just be realistic. You know, listen to your agent, work with an agent that certainly knows the market, yeah, studies the I market. I think that's really important. Yeah, it, but if you if you go in high, yeah, you're going to sell lower than if you yeah. go in properly. You know, mm -hmm. if you're, we definitely have pricing strategies that we would go over and. If you price it just right, you'll get the attention and, and the excitement around your listing versus starting at the top and trying to, then when people start seeing those price reductions, um, that's when people start thinking, well, there's something wrong with the house. So it's really important to work with your agent and price it, price it well. So that's a short synopsis of, of where we are with the market here in the greater Washington area and uh, here in, in Fredericksburg. And, uh, but really, it's uh, very similar ar around the nation. I mean, interest rates are affecting things around the nation, et cetera, et cetera. Um, I, I, for one, am, am always more optimistic about the Washington area because of the money, because of our government, because of what, what they spend. Yeah. I mean, we're, we're always, again, as a, as a market, a little bit more advantaged mm -hmm than other places in the country. Yeah, so yeah, uh, don't, uh, you know, it's not like you're buying cryptocurrency here. Um, people need housing. Yep. With, you know, it, it, whether it, it, you need it, you, you need a roof over your head. So It's true. So there's um, always that, that need for a house that's never going to go away. People are always going to need a place to live and a place to, to stay dry and warm or cool in this weather. So. Yeah. And uh, what else should we have going on? What else? So uh, we have to um, say congratulations to Christine Ferranzo, Ferrano, Ferrano. Not nice, nice Italian girl. Yeah, nice Italian yeah, girl. that's what I think too. Um, she won Fred Nat tickets last week for uh, June 29th at seven o'clock. If you call Jasmine at the office, she'll schedule a time with you to pick up those tickets. So congratulations. And what's Jasmine's phone number? Uh, I'm not good at that, but it's. Yep. J A Z M I N E at L I C A T A Group dot com. How that, about that? That's a good email that's because easy. we don't know the phone number. Um, we have her on speed dial. It's the only way to remember. Um, and so, if you want a chance to win Fred Nat tickets, comment "Go Fred Nats" and uh, we'll get in touch with you. Why don't you repeat that again? I think that was so a big loud. Yeah, um, if you would like a chance to win Fred Nat tickets, then comment for us, go Fred Nats, and we will announce the winner next week. If you haven't been to a Fred Nats oh. game, it's, um, it's right off right off 95 near Red Wegmans, beautiful stadium. Uh, okay. The food is good, and it's, is. and it's inexpensive. It's not like going to a major league park. Mm -hmm. uh, the environment is fantastic. You can even go. My wife and I will go for four or five innings, and we have great seats, mm -hmm. and uh, we'll get a, a hot dog or a sausage or whatever, and then uh, you know enjoy a little bit of the game, and then and then move on. It's it's a lot of fun. We have season tickets, and we uh, we make use of them for some of our team members mm -hmm. get to use them, and and our clients. So if you have an interest, you know, give Jasmine a yell, even if you're not part of the contest. Yeah. If, and if, we, if, if, if they're not committed, you know, we're happy to Pass give them, them away to our, our friends and family and, and supporters. Yeah, definitely. Well, I think that's all I got. You that's good? all you got? Well, I guess I guess yeah. that's it from the Starbucks and the Harrison uh, Crossing. And yep. I'm with Jen and John on Lakata Live. Bye. Thank you.